Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Master Aquatics, and I'm bringing you guys another video. So check it out guys, I got me a new tank. I love it, and I'm so excited to show you guys how I set this thing up. And it took me a while to set up this tank, but uh, I videoed the whole process, and I wanted to show you guys what I had to go through, what I did, and for unfortunately, I saved you guys the horror of actually moving this tank and putting it in the space in the spot that I put it in um, that's always the hardest part when getting a new fish tank but uh, this is a 125 gallon tank that I got from PetSmart they were having a sale on it so I went ahead and picked it up it came with the stand and as you can see it's by Aquion which is a brand that I'm, I'm okay with I mean they haven't really failed me on any of their products that's all the dimensions there and that just gives you all of the information on what the tank comes with it comes with two lights and a stand and that's pretty much all it comes with and this is what it looks like after I cleaned out the interior of the tank from all that confetti and taken off the sticker and as you can see it looks nice and clean and it comes with three glass top lids which I'm okay with I mean they're not the best but they do the job um, my 75 gallon tank came with two this is a 125 gallon tank and it comes with three and this is a view from the side of the fish tank and as you can see it's pretty deep which was an awesome feeling looking through the sides of this aquarium and man oh man I was just having all kinds of visions for my aquascape for this tank while looking through this fish tank um, this is what the light fixtures look like I mean they're pretty basic they're not the best in the world I do plan on upgrading these lights although um, I'm not sure when I'm gonna do that now this is what I started the tank with I got 10 bags of Carby C um, echo complete substrate which I believe is one of the best substrates and I also have a high door canister filter and I also have a titanium heater um, I don't remember the brand name but later on in the video you'll get to see the brand name and the uh, specifics of that heater um, all of the stuff that I bought for this tank was the best of the best that I could find on Amazon at least in my opinion I just chose um, mainly the most like expensive stuff for this tank because I believe in not cheaping out on material especially when it comes to my dream tank I really wanted it to be the best tank that I've ever owned so I went all out so um, each of those bags are 20 pounds and they run around uh, like $24 so 24 times 10 you can just add all that up to see how much I spent the reason why I chose this substrate is because um, I've used it before and an, a friend of mine's tank and it worked great for plants um, it really helps plants and it also comes with um, as you can see there live microorganisms which help jumpstart the cycling process of the tank um, which is going to be great if you don't want to wait a month to cycle your tank because nobody really likes to do that so my plan was to go ahead and fill the fish tank with 10 bags of this stuff and then also get some of the water from my 75 gallon tank and put the water in the tank and have it um, have the uh, the good bacteria soak into that substrate now this is the aqua top titanium heater that I mentioned earlier um, this heater was also pretty expensive I think it was expensive because it was made out of titanium and it also comes with a remote where you can control your temperature which I thought was pretty convenient because you know the Aquion heaters that I currently have for my smaller tanks you actually have to go inside of the tank and switch the little dial on there which is a pain in the neck you know I don't really want to do that I'd rather you know adjust the temperature and the comfort of the outside of the aquarium without having to get my hands dirty and wet and this is just some of the specifics of the heater this is all on the back of the box of the heater um, as you can see it's up to 125 gallons and it can be used for marine or freshwater fish and here's more specifications 
options on the heater. Moving on, we got my canister uh, filter here by Hydor. Um, this I've never used Hydor before. I, I always used Marineland or Aquion products. So I definitely, you know, went outside the box for this tank. And also, you know, a lot of people were leaving good reviews on this canister filter. So, you know, I thought, hey, you know, I might as well try it out. You know, I trust these people's opinions and reviews. It had lots of reviews. You can go on Amazon and check it out for yourself. Um, and one of the main things is, is that it's quiet and it's very easy to use it's very convenient so that's one of the main reasons why I went with that filter so the first step in setting up my fish tank is I went ahead and I started dumping all of the substrate into my tank as you can see you don't need to rinse this substrate this substrate already comes with water and which is great you know that saves you a lot of time you know you don't have to empty out you know all of your substrate into a bucket and you know spend time cleaning and and you know rinsing you know you know ain't nobody got no time for that so you know I just went ahead and jumped you know just dumped that stuff straight into the tank like a boss and you know you know this is pretty easy to do you know you don't have to do anything more than that than to just put the substrate into the tank um, I wasn't sure how many bags I needed for my tank I really just guesstimated and um, you know I tried researching as to how much I would need, but I couldn't find the answer. Um, so I just went with 10 bags, and it was actually the perfect amount for the perfect depth that I was looking for for the substrate. Um, it just depends on what you want. You know, I wanted a little you know bit of a deeper substrate for this tank and I wanted it all to be evened out uh, most people I've seen on YouTube who create a planet tank um, they get their substrate and some people will you know have it pretty thin or they'll have it thin and then they'll add gravel or sand on top of it or you know they'll have a good amount and then they will create all these hills and unevenness uh, you know I just kept it basic and pretty simple I didn't create any hills I just put the 10 bags in there and I made sure that I was that it was even all throughout of the fish tank um, that's that that was my preference and as you can see you know I'm using my hand to do this most people prefer to do it with a paintbrush you know I didn't have a paintbrush at the time so I just went ahead and did it with my hand I mean it's not really hard to do um, you know a kindergartner can do this so and uh, you know I had fun doing this you know the texture of this stuff was pretty good feeling on my hands so you know I didn't mind getting my hands dirty for this plus you know just the thought of having my angelfish living in this tank um, really made me feel good so I made sure that I took my time on this and that uh, I made sure that it was even all throughout this is what it looks like when it's done as you can see there's still some water in there but that's okay I mean the water is gonna stay there um, and that's the side view so as you can see how deep it is I would say it's like three to four inches which is not that bad you know considering the amount of plants that I'm gonna put in there and a lot of the plants that I'm gonna be putting in there are gonna need that deep substrate depth um, and this is where I actually siphoned water from a trash can which was filled with water from my 75 gallon tank um, which a lot of people say does not cycle your tank a lot of people say you know bacteria does not live in the water column um, I believe you're right um, it does not live in the water column but there is benefits to adding cycled water water to your fish tank if you're trying to jump start the cycling process I definitely believe in that because as you can see later on, you will see that I will add some fish. But I'm not going to reveal the fish in this video. But you'll see um, in part two that I add some fish and they did just fine. And I only kept the tank up and running for about a week. Um, this right here is how I'm going to show you guys um, how to set up my canister filter. First, I'm just showing you guys the information that's on the box. You know, just in case you guys are curious or interested. Uh... And getting this filter um, this is what it comes with although it says it's supposed to come with carbon but mine did not come with carbon so beware um, I even ordered carbon and it never came through the through to my mailbox so I don't I don't know what happened with the carbon so my filter is currently running without carbon which 
I mean, it's not really a big deal, but eventually I will um, take apart my filter again and put in some carbon, which I'm looking forward to. Unlike, you know, opening up my Marine, Marine Land canister, this one is a lot easier to handle and open up because, uh, let me tell you guys, the canister filter that I have for my 75 gallon tank, which is from Marine Land, is a pain in the butt to mess with. Um, it's very stubborn and it's very hard to open and, and close and I just hate dealing with it This is a totally different story. This canister filter was so easy to open and so easy to um, Unlock and it was really easy to put together um, I did struggle a little bit, but that's only because you know, I, I've only set up one canister sil filter in my life um, but uh, um, eventually I got the hang of it and I learned what I was supposed to do and it comes with instructions so I was able to look at the book and follow the instructions on there um, one thing I didn't understand about this cancer filter is that it comes with three containers of those white things which is supposed to help trap good bacteria but I just thought it was unnecessary um, for that amount um, but anyways, regardless, I went ahead and I took the stuff into the bathtub and I started rinsing out all of the stuff because it was pretty dusty and, you know, I don't want none of that stuff into my aquarium. Um, and plus, you know, that stuff is, you know, harmful for your fish, so you definitely want to get rid of that. So I just took it to the bathtub and I rinsed it under some tap water. Tap water is not really going to affect that material at all. And this is all the material that came with the canister filter. Setting it up was pretty easy. I mean, it wasn't too hard. I just went ahead and I took the hosing that it came with and I went ahead and put them in into those two compartments right there. And I just went ahead and tightened them and just make sure that when you do tighten them that they're on there pretty snug and tight they also come with these levers that you can flip on and off if it's facing sideways vertical that means they're closed if they're up that means they're open that allows um, the water flow to run smoothly if you have them closed and the water can't get through you need to have them open to be able to prime this canister filter um, and also the glass lids come with the black uh, plastic back ends so I had to actually mark the area that I needed to cut so that way the tubes of the canister filter can be adjusted and fit within the back area there um, which was pretty simple to do the hardest part was actually just cutting the plastic um, material here with some dull scissors. I didn't really have anything sharp to cut the material the way I needed it to be cut so that the tubes can fit in there nice and snug. So this was a very tedious process for me um, but I do manage to get through it. But really what you want to do is just make sure that you get your markings just right and then just cut just enough to where you can create a little flap like that and then just bend it all the way back. And once you've done that, voila, you've got your hose, hoses to fit nice and snug um, just like the way I did it there. And it wasn't really too hard. I mean, it was it was pretty easy, pretty basic. Um, next thing we got here is the heater unboxing from Aquatop and immediately after pulling out this heater um, I could tell that this heater was going to be um, pretty good it feels it felt pretty heavy um, and it's pretty long too it's pretty big but I mean it is for a 125 gallon tank so um, and as you can see, it comes with two little suction cups, one at the bottom, one at the top. Also comes with a little remote with some buttons on there. There's a on and off button, and then there's also an up and down button for the heater, which I said previously, you can adjust and monitor the temperature um, instead of from the outside, instead of having to put your hand in there and adjusting the temperature through there. Um, so heater, you know, 
just like all other heaters, it was pretty easy to set up. Oh, and it also comes with a thermometer there. So it tells you, it gives you a accurate temperature reading. Now, I haven't tested this heater to see how accurate the temperature reading is on that. But, I mean, a lot of people were leaving good reviews on it. So, I mean, I don't, I don't doubt that it's a good quality heater. Plus, I paid a lot of money for it. Um, and after I set up everything, I just went ahead and I just started filling the tank up with some good clean water. Um, and dosing the water with prime as it was filling up. Uh, the last part that I have here is switching the light bulbs of the light fixtures that the tank came with with some Floramax light bulbs because the light bulbs that were in there originally do not support plant growth so I had to switch them out because I will be adding a lot of plants in this aquarium I mean all that substrate and you expect me not to add um, a lot of plants in there you got to be out of your mind buddy but anyways so this is pretty much what the tank looks like um, set up and um, I didn't want to make this video too long so I kind of um, saved the best part for part two so if you want to watch the part where I set up the plants and add my fish in there. Check out the next video coming up. I'm not going to reveal what fish that I'm adding to this tank, but uh, I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy them. Anyways, stay tuned for the next video. My name is Master Aquatics, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.